So we've got the solar system on the roof. The solar system is producing wonderful power. We're sending it to our utility provider. They're giving us a tiny little credit and then they're charging us a huge amount during time of use. And after a few months of looking at that, we said, we don't like that. Uh, and we don't like it for a couple of reasons. Um, we wanted the solar system not only to reduce our utility bills, but to help the planet. And to have part of the control of that power that we were generating still in the hands of the utility and not have a way to avoid um, time of use charges and the unknown of, well, is this electricity that we're using at 5 p.m. Um, because the sun is down now. Is this electricity that we're using in the evening coming from a renewable source or is it coming from a non-renewable source? And as the months went by, we enjoyed our solar panels more and more, but we got more and more concerned about, well, what's really happening during time of use? Are they firing up gas turbines? And it became more and more clear to us that if we had batteries, we had plenty of production that we could store and we could control where our energy was coming from during time of use. That was the major consideration for us was the planet. The, the solar panels are a good investment, they pay for themselves. Battery is a little bit longer term investment. so. You know, there have to be other reasons to really make it pencil out. And I think reasons are that you now have control of your energy consumption. You have control of where that energy is coming from. And that's what we wanted. I did at that point research batteries extensively. Uh, I looked at pretty much everything that's on the market and uh, I looked into the spec sheet for the P-Cube and the spec sheet looks really good. It is very attractive. In fact, everybody that's seen it has said that that's a you know, nice looking system and it's much more compact than they were expecting. I remember what it looks like in here. There are three inverters, one, two, three. One of these is a DC to DC inverter that is used with uh, DC solar panels. One is an AC to DC inverter that is used with a system like ours that is AC coupled. And then there is the DC to AC inverter, which is the one that actually takes the energy out of the batteries and powers the house. And it is the capacity of that DC to AC converter that really makes this a cut above the competition. Um, it's higher than the names that you've been hearing a lot in residential solar batteries. We've been using it now for three and a half months. This worked wonderfully for us. Uh, it has powered the house through a um, blackout caused by our storms this winter. It has offset uh, our uh, time of use uh, power usage, so um, stored our solar and given us what we expected.